Hey guys, this is Jordan again, and today we're going to be talking about editing vertical videos in iMovie. Now, when you're doing vertical videos, this would be for things like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Stories, TikTok, and I'm going to be showing you everything you need to do to start editing in iMovie for those platforms right now. So now, generally speaking, iMovie does not really do vertical video editing. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to figure out the workaround so that you can still use this as a free video editing software for vertical videos. All right, so let's jump into it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up iMovie and I'm going to show you the basic way that is technically the wrong way. If you go ahead and create a new project, you're going to see here, I'm just going to upload my video. And first, what we're going to do here is if we drag it into the timeline, you can see that we have these black bars on the side. So if I'm just scrolling through my video, that's how it shows up. Now, you can't really get rid of those sidebars. You can resize this to where it's less of a distraction on the side, but it's still going to change you from an up and down video to a vertical video. Now, when I go in and export this, you're gonna notice, let's say if we just go ahead and save that, when I pull this up on my desktop, you're going to see these black bars coming across, and that's what we don't want. So that's what happens as it changes your vertical video into a side-by-side -side video. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do it the right way. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that and create a new project again. So this time, instead of hitting the create new button, what you wanna do is go over here up to file and you are going to hit this new app preview. And what this does is it's basically designed to do the videos for the app store and things like that. But this also has the presets to do those vertical videos for these different social platforms. So go ahead and hit this one and we'll do new app preview. And then don't pay attention to this, this is just for the App Store stuff, but go ahead and do this. Now, if you notice, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to import my media again, and we'll just scroll down to that same clip we got. Okay, now if I hover over this, you're gonna notice that there's no black bars and you actually have only that vertical footage. So I'll drag that in down to my timeline. And then from here, you can see that you don't have those black bars, it's just the gray bars. Now I can go in and edit this just like the video. So I'll go ahead and do all my slicing, doesn't really matter. Let's say you'll do that right here. Okay, so let's just say for example, we have those edits and that's how we want our video to sound. Now one setback you will have is on these titles, if you notice all of your title presets have gone away. So they really limit all of this stuff, uh, but what you can do is a workaround, but you can upload all of your Canva graphics, and Canva is what you're gonna be using to do all of your graphics, especially for your titles and any different logos and things like that. Now, if you wanna get started with Canva and you haven't already, check out the link below. I do have a link going towards Canva, and I do have another link also as well for Epidemic Sound. Those are two resources that I use every single day, and I think you guys would love them, so definitely click the links and check them out. Okay, so moving Moving right along here, let's say if we're done with this one, we'll just go to our settings. If you want to, you don't even have to change anything. You can fade in, fade out from black. And now if you check out your filters, you do have the same filters, but those are mostly the video. But now let's go ahead and export this clip. So if I want to adjust this clip, make sure it's always under 60 seconds, generally speaking. Of course, with uh, some of the platforms, just make sure you get the specific time on that. But let's go ahead and export that now. So you're going to do the same process and export file. Now resolution, make sure that's your 1080 and we're just going to go ahead and export it. Okay, and then now that we have that, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this over. Now if you go ahead and pull up this video, you can see now it has the app preview, but more importantly, when you click on play, you no longer have these video black bars on the side. 
you now have a vertical video. So from there, we can actually take this and we can upload this specifically into our social profiles and that way we have a vertical video. So that's my quick tip on how to edit vertical videos inside iMovie for things like TikTok and Instagram Reels and Stories. And if you found any value in this video, go ahead and click that like button so that more people can see this video that are just like you that want help with iMovie and video editing for social media. As always, leave a comment down below. You guys have been getting some great conversation down there. I'm always happy to help with any questions that you have and stay tuned for more video editing hacks and I'll see you in the next one.